Welcome back to Squawk Box. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt saying it is time for us to fully invest in AI infrastructure because he says climate goals are too lofty to reach anyway. Speaking at an AI summit in Washington last week, Schmidt addressed concerns about the massive amount of energy needed uh, to power artificial intelligence. He said there are ways to curb the negative effects that AI can have on the environment, but he thinks those will be swamped by the enormous needs of this new technology. When pressed by presenters, he said he thinks he, he, we won't uh, hit some of the climate goals anyway because we're not organized to do it, and he'd rather bet on AI solving the problem on the other end of it than constraining AI and having the problem. So, it's so weird. Well, there are, there, there's, a, there's an interesting sort of group of people, by the way, including Elon Musk and others, who say that long term, their view is that the solution to climate change is not necessarily going to be less putting less carbon in the atmosphere per se. It's going to be figuring out how you're going to take it out of the atmosphere later. And the argument that he's making effectively is that AI is going to help the discovery process, potentially, I think. I don't don't want to put words in his mouth uh, of that, meaning nobody's figured out how to do it yet, but that maybe once AI, I don't know if it's sentient, Joe, but is smart enough, it'll it'll help. I think we can solve a lot of problems. The solution. That if, if it comes down, to, we're obviously a globe right now that depends totally on fossil fuels to, mm-hmm. for commerce and everything else. So we really don't have any choice other, right. than, other than to deal with it. If, I, I will say technology usually solves the problems that we think exactly. we're up against. And, and it's, it's almost, you could almost group it with other Malthusian yeah. worries that have never come that, true. That's what I was just saying. And technology usually is what yeah, solves like all Like we're going to run out of, yeah. I don't know, whatever, which we never run out of it, it, because it, it just, you know, the more you use it, the more it makes sense economically to get more, and then you have more. And then when the asteroid comes and we send... Well, but then you'd have to say that, you know, Saudi Arabia, you know, you say to yourself, okay, Saudi Arabia with its 2030 plan, does that make any sense if that's true? Right. They're trying to effectively, you know, wean Maybe. their way off of fossil fuels. Right. They've and, got and a, reimagine their entire I think economy. Another, Anybody, I think they're trying to any diversify. Any young people sure. have, have normal jobs. I mean, they, they have their own issues with being addicted to, to all that oil. They need an actual economy, which they're trying which to Which they're trying to diversify and create. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>